hike, or bike. Sophia Cruz with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Sophia Cruz here. It's the first day of spring, and it's going to feel like it. Temperatures this morning starting off in the upper 30s and 40s for some areas. Mountains, though, still pretty chilly in this area. 21 in Stanley, 17 in Fairfield. So if you're in those areas, I'm sorry, but you still got to wear some layers heading out the door this morning. Here's what's going on in the area right now. We've had a high pressure ridge building over us, bringing us some really nice and mild conditions, and you may have even noticed some really nice sunny and clear skies. Now that's about to end. We're getting our first round of spring showers on the way. So here's what we can expect as we make our way into the weekend. We have a low pressure ridge build over the area and what that brings is a bunch of rain and snow. So the blue represents snow and the green is rain. The yellow could even be heavier rain. So as it comes over us over the weekend, we'll start to see some cooler temperatures come into the area with more mountain snow on the way. Now here's what our high temperatures are looking like. Today we could get up to 70. Tomorrow 72. Now we see this drop off from Wednesday to Thursday because that high pressure ridge is moving out of the area and when it does it takes us back down to the 60s and then 50s over the weekend but we're well above what our average temperatures are currently. We're usually in the 50s about this time of year so we're really just going back down to the average. Now it also brings in that rain so here's what we start to see first: some scattered showers through Baker City and McCall on Wednesday around 3 o'clock. Then tonight, Wednesday, tomorrow night, you'll actually start to see some heavier areas near McCall, Idaho City, all the way down to Mountain Home. Now it's looking like Boise isn't too bad, but these showers are going to pass through the area. So if you're heading out to Tree Fort, you may want to bring a poncho with you and be weather aware this week because it's going to see a big turnover. The first day is going to be really nice. We're going to see some really nice conditions during the daytime, but then the afternoons when we can see those showers and then that really continues throughout the week. So Thursday we could also get some more possible showers. Friday looking pretty dry so far, but as that pressure ridge begins to build over the area, we could see showers on Friday as well. Saturday definitely going to rain. So if you're heading out there this weekend, take a poncho with you and just be weather aware because we could see some thunder with that. Treasure Valley today though getting really nice upper 60s and 70s for most of the area mostly clear. It's going to feel really nice like it did yesterday. I even got a nice little tan and saw some people hanging out by the pool but Magic Valley in the mid 60s still pushing towards the 70s or trying to at least. West Central Mountains a wide variety of temperatures here upper 50s to 60s. 78 in Riggins, so it's going to feel really nice if you're in the Riggins area today with those partly sunny skies out and about. East Central Mountains still struggling to make it even towards the 60s, but in the 50s with those clear conditions, it's going to feel really nice either way across the board. Wherever you are today, just enjoy the sunshine that we're getting because look at how nice it is up until about Friday. Then we get that first round of spring showers coming in for our weekend and some possible snow flurries coming in on Monday.